The second generation NX was announced in 2021 as a 2022 model year vehicle, and it didn't feel like it was that long ago when the current generation NX arrived showrooms. It was a product that was launched during the COVID years and also with a lot of part shortages. And it also had the new design language for Lexus, the word Lexus being spelt out in the back of the vehicle. In this video, we will look at what owners have to say about the current NX and what are they looking forward to in the refresh model of the second generation NX. And now let's get to it. Hey, it's LSFD here today, and today we're here to look at the refresh of the NX. Yes, nothing has been provided on the refresh yet. Everybody is speculating that the 2026 Lexus NX will be the refresh year. No news on that yet, but I think a lot of people have been talking about what is on their wish list. And in this video, I'm talking about their wish list because I'm going to pull the information that has been provided by a bunch of Lexus NX owners and really looking at what do they like to change because they're real owners, they will probably have what will make this car even better. So this is a four part series and the first series was the interior, which I've already released. And if you haven't watched it, do click on the description below where we have reference to the video. And then this video, we're going to talk about the exterior and we'll follow up with infotainment, air conditioning and features in future videos. And if you like this video and you want to wait for the other two videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's start off with exterior. So let's look at the first exterior wish list. And the thing is, it's full LED headlights, even on the lower trims. So you can see here we have the by LEDs and on the turn signal, they are not LEDs. But then when you look at the triple beam LEDs, they are fully LEDs across the board. And I think just changing that bulb to become an LED bulb isn't that more expensive. I'm hoping that Lexus will make that change. And I think that is a simple change and it should be doable. So the next exterior feature that they want to change is the wheel arches because on the non F sport trim, you get these black arches. Some people actually like them because they look more rugged, but then some people would like and prefer them to have the same color as the body. What do you think? So if you look at the ultrasonic blue that we show here, do you think this looks more premium? Let me know in comments below. What do you think? Do they look better? Next one is heated Lexus emblem. So right now we know that the RZ and the RX has this heated emblem and what it's used for is in the winter when snow hits you when you're driving, it actually builds up snow there and then your dash becomes a Christmas tree because it's telling you that all these safety features are disabled because it's being blocking like the radar and everything. So definitely not something that they thought of when they built the NX, but they thought of it when they went to the RX. And maybe I'll stretch this a little bit more. How about we get an illuminated Lexus logo with heated emblem on the RZ we have that so could that actually be added to the NX wouldn't that be cool I would even stretch this even further the parking sensors if they can get them heated so that it can melt and not get interference that would be great for places that have cold icy winters the next on the list I have here is better clips for the black trim so we talked about the black arches, but then there's the black trim that is underneath the two doors. Some folks, I think when they accidentally kick it, they actually knock it off and the clips fall off and then they have to somehow try to clip it back. So I think they're, they're trying to get a more, more robust area so that if you kick it, it does not fall off. I personally have not seen that myself. I have not kicked my door. Um, but I guess if you have kids and they accidentally kick it and it comes off, yes, I think that would be a problem. The next one is the rear wiper. They're telling us to tell Lexus to hide it under the spoiler. 
if you look at RXs, that's what's been done. And I don't think it's that hard to do. It's just really replacing the spoiler on the NX, but then definitely a lot more work to be done. And they have to differentiate between the RX and the NX as well. So when you look at this, it can probably be wiped a little bit lower depending on your preference, but hiding it definitely will help, especially in the cold winter. You don't want that wiper to freeze up and it's hidden there. It's a much better thing to do. So let me know in comments below, do you like the looks of the wiper covered or do you think you like it how the RX is done? The next one is more insulation or get a more refined petrol engine. So I know that Lexus has continuously improving the 2.4 liter turbo and also the hybrid system as well. We've heard like newer NXs or newer RXs have actually been better in the sound area. But now you can see that on like this is pulled from Facebook. There are people in Taiwan actually going and adding insulation to their doors, to their trunks, to their interior, just to get a better refined drive. But then, you know, these engines are the ones that are producing a lot of that noise. So I think if Lexus continues to improve on that area, that would be an area that we would see and people would appreciate that it being a little bit more Lexus-like. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. The next one is a better wiper sweep in the front. You can see here in this picture, this is with a little bit of snow, but once it sweeps, you get up almost like three inches of snow just on that pillar. So with the A pillar being like what it is right now, plus that other three inches, visibility is some of a concern. I know that if you actually make the wiper swipe a little bit faster, it gives a little bit more motion, it will actually push that a little bit better and they'll become like one inch. But still, I think this could be an improvement and I think a lot of people in the north are the ones who actually complain the most. If it's rain, it's not that big of a deal. But if it's snow, it's a little bit hard to actually swipe off and the visibility is a little bit poor. And I did remember that this is one of the top complaints of the NX and hopefully with the refresh, they will do something about that. So the next item is acoustic glass. So right now the NX actually has acoustic glass in the front and the rear two wind doors are not acoustic glass. So what they're saying is they want to have all the windows with acoustic glass. So having this dual pane glass, which actually will help prevent noise coming into the cabin. But then there is a problem. If there's an accident or there's a rollover and you need to smash the window, you cannot really smash that window. It's extremely hard to smash that window and get out. With that being said, I do know that there are some Lexus models that have acoustic glass all around. But do you think that the NX grade should get full acoustic glass? It does definitely make the car heavier as well. The next one is the front camera washer. So we already have a wash in the back, but why not have it in the front? When it's actually rainy out there or with snow, it's actually not that pleasing when you look at the cameras. I know some a lot of people probably don't have the panoramic view monitor, but if you do have that, you'll just see a splash of water in the front because you cannot wash that front camera. 
And because it's not a safety concern, I think that's why they did not equip the front camera with a washer. So you see in the rear here, we have rear washer that will spurt water onto the camera and clean it up. And it's needed because when you actually have parking assist or something, and if it is not working, you would actually get a message saying that your rear camera is not working, you need to clean it. But that doesn't happen in the front. So that's probably why they did not include it, but I think as a touch of ease, if they can actually get it cleaned and have a cleaner on it, that would be great. So this last one is not something that an owner actually said. It's just a question to all of you. Do you think that Lexus should change the NX look, like the grill? Because when you look at it, they introduced the RX with a different type of spindle body grill. And then the TX also has a new design language. But then when you look at the NX, it still has the old spindle grill. So when you look at that, do you think that they should change this? Let me know in comments below. What do you think? Do you think they should change it? And if they do, which one to change it to? The TX or the RX or a totally new spindle body? I hope that they don't change it because I actually prefer this the traditional, the older spindle grill. But I think sooner or later that will happen. It's just when will they do that and will they do that to this generation? I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.